like at the National Arcadian, came out and beat yeah. Nut and a lot of people. They're still, yeah. they're still yeah, there. Yeah, thanks for beating Nut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just stick to your Twitter, dog. <laughs> DS. We love a good Nintendo sponsorship. Good Texas on the platform. Ooh. Oh. Interesting choice right there. Yeah. At that low of a percentage, I think it was a pretty bad choice, but I can see what he was thinking. Nice near up smash. Yeah, Meds is moving. Yeah, Meds is up actually insanely quick if you've ever watched him play. Yeah. Like, he's super good. And he's actually really good at the Marth matchup too. Yeah, he has a lot of practice with that. With yeah. uh, both Ty, and he plays against Axis Marth a lot too. And Taj. Yeah, ta Taj too. Yeah. Arizona, and probably um, John Wick. John Wick or yeah. that's, that's the name, right? Yeah. yeah. John Wick's super good also. Shy today now. Oh, he's dropping. So Meds holding on to this lead here. Uh, Spud evening up the stocks yeah. though. Oh, oh, that was a. That, I don't know. What that he was, was really risky actually. Meds was entirely invincible. There was yeah. not not much that uh, he had to fear there. Oh, Air capitalized on it. Air is actually surprisingly good versus Marth. Oh, I like I like what he was thinking there. Good crowd chastling. Crouch is actually, actually like very hard to use versus Marth sometimes, just because like the spacing. Yes, Marth can space around it, but if you space it correctly, if Fox spaces his crouch cancel as well, you can actually get a lot off of them. One grab on a Marth in this matchup can lead to so much. Yeah, but also can lead to absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a uh, true for Fox in a lot of matchups, honestly, in a lot of scenarios. Yeah, that's true. That's why I think sometimes Fox should just, if he gets grabs, it, you feel like you're not going to get a lot out of it. You should more like do it more for positioning instead of like you know get, trying to get something off of it. Yeah. Because I feel like in like a lot of matchups, Fox's positioning is so much more important. You also get to then capitalize off of a unique scenario that they weren't expecting. Yeah. That you created. Ooh, good short in there. Yeah. It's looking like he doesn't want to give up this game yeah. one. Mets doing a really good job of kind of like just holding the center, but it's a uh, called out right there. Yeah, Spudge just seems to not really be finding the openings he really wants, and uh, he's getting some whiff punishes every now and then, but none of the hard, hard punishes that he's looking for. Yeah, if you saw right there, Meds kind of did a strange up air to where like it made it weird for Spud to smash DI, it. so he like jumped, he went behind him a little bit, and then he up aired from like right here. So that means if like Spud would were to smash DI like to the left, then it would still hit. Yeah, there's a lot of little nuances to Fox's up air that often get overlooked. So he takes him to the battlefield. I'm guessing Meds ban FD, but I feel like uh, maybe it's just an Australian pick. I'm not sure. You can do some cleans sick it up with, stuff on these platforms. Yeah, cleans it up with a simple Ken combo, the classic. In it old school here at the Mango. Med's an old school player, very old yeah, school. Yeah, for sure. Spud, he's been around. He's been around in Arizona playing? for a while. Ooh, he gets Marth. Yeah, unfortunate, a tragedy. Porn, El Porn Elmer's forty out in chat. <laughs> Poor the Elmer's out for the Marth means. Ooh, yeah. Do you know how long Spud has been playing? I know he's kind of been hot not on the scene recently, really. but not sure what the lore is behind him. Yeah, I'm sure he's been around for a decent amount of time, like around, because I know like he's been kind of like, he got good after Zane, so I'm guessing he kind of maybe started around a little later the same time, because Zane got good in like around like, like a Zane's year and a half, Zane's been playing less two. long than me. Yeah, Zane's been playing like five years less than me. He's got oh. oh. He gets marked again. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's super unfortunate. Sometimes, honestly, it. that's just going to happen in the matchup sometimes. Especially on this stage with the battlefield and all that. That could be a reason why Spud likes this stage is the edge guarding is a little bit simpler. Yeah, because that's side no being for ride. Fox really isn't that good on this stage. Yeah, unless you're there's like, no wall to ride. Yeah, unless you're a god at shortening. Like me. You play sheep. 
I, Sheik has a short in first off, which I'm I know. really good at in second off. I'm better than Steven at shortening. Fox and Falco, oh and Spud is better than all of us at everything else. <laughs> that was sick. All right, we got a like game three. Um, I'm get Spud definitely banned Dreamland, but honestly, personally, I do not like taking Marth to Pokemon. I much prefer Yoshi's. I think this stage is awful for Marth in this matchup, honestly. Really? Yeah. I don't think these platforms help him much, and the transformations, I think, are absolutely awful. That's true. Along with the ceiling, I think Fox can get really good. But you can kills. say the same about uh, kind of Yoshi's, with the ceiling at least. But Fox? he has the platforms, and the low bottom well, makes it easier to gimp and edge guard. Yeah. Pokemon's platforms are actually pretty good for Marth. They do basically the same thing as Yoshi's. You can get tippers off them and everything. It's just I think it's a lot easier to smother Marth on Yoshi's. So when you get that kind of first hit, you can still maneuver around what Marth's doing on Yoshi's because you got the small platforms, you got enough space to do it, and you still got that like. But it doesn't give Marth enough space to kind of like space around what you're doing. You can kind of just smother him. This is. But Met's doing really yeah. well right now. <laughs> Holy moly. Mets Mets caught his jump and took that stock to the bank. Ooh. Nearly at the zero to death. Come slipping again back. Oh, the stage. crouch cancel down tilt. I love crouch cancel down tilt. Oh, he just does it. Yeah, he just, that's. He just swings on him. That sometimes you have to do that when someone's trying to just move on you. Yeah. You gotta just swing on them. Yeah, Let I think that's that you're not something Arth is actually just straight up good at. Like. He can just catch movements so well. Yeah, and kind of make you second guess yourself or question the confidence you just had. Let's see. Yeah, Mets looking to bring him back, or uh, Spud looking to bring him back a little bit. Oh, catches the double jump refresh. Yeah, you can't do that. That's not real. All right, Spud on his last stock. Mets still with three. Oh, Mets is really just going off right now. I like going for these back airs too with these mid and high percent. Yeah, he's just building up percent. This. Ooh, almost it. Goes for the shine back there. He should be dead here. All right, it's a slow roll. But this is looking a little rough for Meds. But it is Marth Fox. So Spud can. Oh, oh and never mind. That's man. Fox. That's just Fox. There we Fox. go. Meds takes it. Meds, really Fox. Shown, Meds was really showing how good he is at that matchup. Yeah, that was just. Uh, 